few days ago I was very busy and I'm still a bit busy because I have end of school year. So some last exams and stuff like that. Tomorrow will be the last day in school. I was also working on trailer but it was rendered bad. So I will upload it once more. Also I want to thank you everyone for all votes. Uh, that I got on Facebook you can still vote on my art for one day oh connection fail I have to re re-log in on my main account from my cell phone okay wait a few seconds and there you go okay by the way I will go through dungeons in this video also I expect a new video about update there is already an update on Taiwan server Taiwan version of game and we have new system of boss fights that will profit more for strong guilds that have a lot of players that can perma stun boss why? because now with a 3 minute stun is going to count even in meanwhile if boss was killed for example, I was very angry many times when in my guild I was doing perma stun for 3 minutes or chain stun, whatever. And during this chain stun, someone killed the boss. So my damage was counted as 0. Yeah, 0. And if guild is defeating boss in less than 3 minutes, then you won't get any on your budget. It will count as you didn't participate in this boss fight. And that was very nice. Now it's going to change. Also, there will be some spells. Two spells. One, invisibility. Uh, invisibility or something like that. Uh, it will... something like Guardian Angel. It will protect your heroes for 8 seconds. And something like Area's Favor that will increase output damage. So it will help a lot for weak players. Mm, what else? There will be a cooldown. Depends on boss. If it's boss 1, boss 2 or boss 3, you'll have 5, 10 or 15 seconds of cooldown. And you'll be able to skip that cooldown by spending guild credits. I mean, uh, if you pay shirts, if you donate shirts to guild, you get same amount of donated shirts guild credits and you can use them to buy flags and now you're able to use them to skip cooldown town but I don't think so that might be a really important thing for weak players maybe just for strong players if they want to continue chain tune or something like that so another thing about boss you will get much more honor badges if you can uh, do 33% of boss HP damage. So, let's say there are 10 players that can perma stun boss and do over 33%. All of them will get maximum number of honor badges, not only one of them. So. As I said, all of good players will profit. That update might be not good at all for weaker players that were taking high places in small guilds uh, because they won't do much damage. And that's something that HG is working on. They want to force everyone to upgrade everything, increase might, upgrade heroes, get everything higher, level, level up guilds, because there was a lot of small guilds, just one account strong and other really small accounts taking a lot of honor badges from high places and doing small damage. It might be good for some people, for some not, but anyway it forced everyone to progress in game. Same now we don't see too many low might accounts that were very good many months ago and that accounts were the best in arena that's what was un kind of unfair but anyway I, I don't like um, I like 
Lomite account strategy stolen from other games. <laughs> so, I'm doing some dungeons on this account. I don't know how far can I go because I wasn't doing low dungeons for a long time, long, long time. Huh. Okay. I will cut this part of the video and you will see me in few seconds because now it's a boss time. Okay, I'm back after boss fight in my guild. I took a fourth place. Normally I take third place and right now something is not working for me. I have a lot of problems with Permastun. Yes, Permastun. If you didn't see my latest video, I was able to Permastun boss 3. I did it a few times and last few days something is not going well. I think that my setup of heroes might be a problem because the bottom this bottom part of heroes lineup has changed. Yeah, exactly. And I had special queue for my heroes. Starting with a executioner run of five revitalized that tunes for two seconds. Then going with champion four or five revitalized that has to hit three times to stun for three seconds. Then my Thunder God 5 of 5 revitalized that stuns for one and a half second. And then other heroes. With little help of heavy blow from my pumpkin, not always needed, but it keeps boss further from my druid, which is tanking. Uh, I was able to make a really great Kui of stuns that create a perma stun of boss 3. Seems to be amazing without Cupid, but anyway, I still need a Cupid. Because without Cupid, I won't get a nice damage. To increase my damage, I have to also get a 6 hero base. There's a lot of problems with it, because I cannot speed up this process at all. Maybe by spending gems on skipping building time, but that's really not cheap, believe me. Spending one million is worth like a thousand of gems or something like that. Yeah, that's a lot. And I have army camps and mana mills still at level... Fuck, why you died, ninja? I have them still at... at uh, 13 and 14 level, yeah. So I need to get my 8 buildings few levels up. That's going to be few weeks, yeah. Kinda a lot, but I'm not rushing for this 6 base. Okay, okay, I want it as hell so badly. Maybe I will be able to uh, get higher chance of winning HBM Edge because now it's not 90% I have still problems with it in to be honest oh, right now I'm doing some arena and today at the end of this video I make first attempt on HBM yeah I have a lot of wasted chances never used ones but today even if I want HBM A5, I will get some experience or gold mana. So that might be also helpful to level up my low, low level heroes. And I'm still not leveling Marksman with Frost Witch um, because I, want, I don't want to bump my might very high. Raiding with only ordinary heroes seems to be a bit high. Because now I'm still in the on the stage of the low level heroes, and after getting them to 40, 50 levels, raiding will be much easier. Then I will think a bit about getting my mm, fourth and fifth hero. And right now, mm, what can I say? I have to. Sp 
speed up progress of my account because to be honest I don't spend too much time on this maybe I will share it with my friend and there's another idea I want to run a, a discussion group of some small youtubers and me uh, some youtubers that were asking me for help they are my fans and friends also so uh, I want to help them a bit and I think that it's going to be interesting to run a discussion group about some troubles thing that are mm, causing us problems and uh, there are that are ridiculous in Castle Clash or some maybe news like update on Taiwan Taiwan server and other things like new dragon hero we don't know too many things about him but I heard that you have to get all buildings at least at 16 level all of the buildings oh, maybe except training room and arena because you can level them up but that's ah, that's uh, something that everyone knows and you have to purchase 50,000 gems so like spirit match and then you'll be able to roll this hero so I'm still not sure what does it mean at all roll if you'll get him instantly or just like cupid you will try to spend hundreds of dollars to get this hero because for sure it's not going to be a purchase for buying 50,000 gems and maybe it will have a low, really low chance of getting him ah, but this is a very strong hero, I have to say that because to be honest it's like a flying engineer by the way, his skill also decrease attack speed and damage or movement speed. I, I'm not sure it's, it decreases something. Uh, decreases something. So mm, this is a really powerful hero that is going to be good in arena. I think so, but I'm not sure. And it's going to be one of the best heroes in Hibri Monsters oh, okay what I did wrong recording failed come on I'm saving some gems on this account so i be able to roll for talent mm. and I'm not going to roll for heroes yeah that's on one of the things that I wanted to tell you because getting ordinary heroes is able with shirts or honor badges and it's quite easy without any problems you can get any hero you want maybe with a bit of luck or with shirts but right now I cannot farm too many shirts I will try right now HBMA and see if I can farm it uh, I'm not going to win having two heroes at first level helps a bit because it increase HP of my shrine but he had five heroes at quite high levels okay ah, right now I'm mm, in a little bit of rush in leveling my hero bases so I'm preparing for HBM oh I can get 10 more walls that's nice may help me a bit let's see what I can do here I think that I can put it right there right there right there to make sure and increase weight of a building okay that seems to be a perfect design but who knows maybe I made a mistake we will see right now how many HP has this town hall how much HP almost 15,000 that's a lot 
By the way, I level up my alchemy skill finally to 3 of 9 and I need my engineer at 2 of 9. And I have no shirts, okay. So there you go. HBM. Oh, that's not HBM. G, yeah, G. That's a little bug. When you're playing on few accounts and you are farming G on your main account, then going on a smurf, and when you turn on HBM, it shows you that you can. It highlights G as I'm farming G or H on my main account. Yeah, I have some problems with HBM A still, not winning all the time, so I came back to G and soon my spirit match will be capped at 140 level, so I'll move to HBM H with only 4 heroes, then my Immortep will be capped at 140 level, so I will try to farm HBM H with only 3 heroes. Exactly, three heroes. All these three heroes I have to get to nine stars. They are coming slowly, slowly to 160 level. And I'm saving honor budgets for them. I have already over 400,000 honor budgets. That's enough for now to level up two of... Fuck, they are attacking walls. Ah, they want to kill engineer. And that's sometimes the problem that appears in uh, hero monsters. If heroes retarget target to your hero, they may attack some walls. I think so that that was the reason why I lost. Okay, let's see. Let's still see how far can we get. Uh, let's continue talking about my main account. My druid is currently at 155 level, mm, so it needs he needs five levels more. And I have a, a lot of X books right now, not so many books right like some top players, but still a lot in my opinion. Mm, and I can get my druid up to 157 level. Yeah, with help of X books. But I'm still thinking about saving them for Cupid. That maybe, maybe, maybe with a lot of luck and votes I will win in this event. <sighs> What's up? I want to say something about my YouTube channel that I noticed. I noticed that not too many of you are commenting my videos and that's not helping in growing my channel because videos about comment don't look pretty good. Also, I don't get too many likes on my videos and also dislikes. I could say that I am happy of one thing, haters disappeared. Before there was many haters, but maybe that get bored um, of hating all the time without any reason. Yeah, hate because I'm a Paul. What what was a re what was that the real reason? I don't think so. Come on, come on, alchemist, kill the dino. Ah. Two heroes cannot will win the latest stage, but yeah, shirts and some honor badges. I want. I have to still finish three elite dungeons. Okay, now I can get my engineer skill higher. Let's see. There you go. And also, also, let's move. Let's move. Wait. Oh, that's my line, Akko. I want to move these buildings further. They may disturb a bit. 
Come on, Ripoff is writing to me. Tactical Ripoff, yeah, that one YouTuber. Uh, okay. Many YouTubers are writing to me because now a lot of people want want to become a YouTuber. Fuck, I'm going to turn off sound. Okay, I turn off sound. Uh, let's use bombs right there. Right there. Uh, another bomb, or maybe. Uh, maybe I put it there. And hero traps. May I help a bit. Round two, three. And there you go. After this, heavy monsters try. I will quit. I will finish this video. I mean, and that looks like a heart, or maybe not. The shape is not good at all. <sighs> I see every heart. <sighs> it's a bit late. I have to go sleep. So. I think that I will edit this video really fast, render it and upload. Also a lot of problems of keeping daily series daily because sometimes I will upload videos once a few days. Why? Because I have very slow internet speed and just one mega upload. And I have a really slow laptop. Rendering of the videos keeps a lot of time. Like a rendering small video takes something like one hour. Uh, some few minutes videos takes 30 minutes, 20. That's a lot. Some good YouTubers can, without any problems, render a video in Mm, what can I say? 15 minutes, 20 minutes, yeah. Upload in also 20 minutes. That takes less than one hour to record and upload a video and render it. For me, it takes like three hours. So you can imagine how how hard this work is for me. Maybe in future we get better PC because I don't I want to have a laptop at all. It's nice because you can move it wherever you want and and it's 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 something that you can take on the trip to the school. But as we all know. PC computers have better performance. They are bigger, of course, so that's why you can you can hide their more good things because bigger graphic card has bigger performance. That's a logic thing. And other problem, there is often problem that laptops are overheating. Yeah, and for example, PC can have a really good mm, coolers, water cooling, and stuff like that. Okay, at the last wave had a bad spawn from this side. I will still think on improving that base by putting some buildings from this side, and that has a bad spawns to do not directly cause my heroes being targeted mm, and thanks everyone for watching if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like don't forget to comment and maybe suggest what you want to see in new videos for you through pl till next time